ever really get to experience as a spectator or anything like that is the actual mindset of the players when we actually get into it. But we are finally on to the map and it is 5A already off the bat. We are going fast here from NB. Oh, wow. And they'll be able to at least answer back with Marv trading out Wardell. We talked about Wardell and his aggressiveness, but even still, Levi comes out with a trade of his own, and they'll spot out a lot of information from Sabrosa's dog and back away. But this, this, this is looking like a little bit of a wounded envy. What do they do from here? I mean, it's going to be really tough because they're super low, and you'll also notice that TSM haven't bitten on anything. You have Bang and Hazed both poached, uh, positioned over by C and B, respectively, knowing that there's not going to be any sort of rotation coming through. So it becomes pretty easy for TSM to sort of hold their hold their footing for the time being. Envy of Cut Noise, but are slowly going to test the water here and see if they can get a pick. FNS, I mean, if he is able to find something down A, that could then cause the rotation because you're trying to see he wants to get one pick while the other two players sort of test it out over on the rest of the map. And I like this idea, but you'll notice Hayes is starting to creep up towards C. He's got a great timing on this. Oh, he's going to spray them down at least find one. Still a little low. Crashes with the recon bolt. Thought that was a shock dart. There it is. Right around the corner. Finds the pick out to Hayes. Now we've got a little bit of an even footing. They'll at least get the spike down, but TSM is looking to fight back very quickly. Yeah, we have a shock dart, and actually the oh, the plant gets canceled. That's very nicely done. And uh, that shock what? dart comes in and shuts it all down. There's just nothing you can do. The utility from TSM to stop the spike from going down, just beautiful. That was very well done. I thought that the, for some reason it looked like the shock dart like snuck its way underneath the big box. I don't know how, but maybe it bounced off and it just showed the the, the kind of... I think he bounced uh, it off over uh, near plant. Yeah. Yeah, I just it, it looked it looked like it snuck its way underneath there, but regardless, that was very very creative. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, I mean it was just uh, nicely done. I mean TSM took that space up towards C long. Hayes actually spent so much of that round just chilling out in One cubby, enemy, but it is the patience, enemy. especially on a map like Haven, where so much of it is you know faking out of sight, rotating back, you know getting those flanks off when you are on defense. You definitely have to be able to hold your ground, especially when your team does such a good job of shutting down that early aggression. You'll notice, like, Envy don't want any part of that early aggression, but Wardell does, and he's just going to do it with that ghost, making sure he can save up to the off in round three. They are trying to chase down Wardell as he was a little bit aggressively. They find a little bit of damage, it seems like, onto Victor and Marv. But Envy will have to consider that, right? That conditioning, Wardell constantly being pushed up A. Potential of haze maybe being pushed up C, and we have to really consider those factors as we move into the round to round. It is fun seeing uh, a marshal on Ye. If you can find a pick or anything like that, it may be good, and they're just smoking their way onto the B site. Victor is actually going to be able to trade up to a Spectre. That could be important. Yeah, stuck in the smoke, go bang back one site. Oh, and it's just far. Far still, though. B. One remains. Victor, let's find the trade out. A pretty standard. Anti-Eco there, and now this is the round that we've been waiting for. Wardell with the op, and Envy on the full buy. This is the round that TSM are really going to be hoping to gun and make their way. Oh, no. he's not buying it? He got a drop. Oh, he got a drop. They're really just giving this well, guy some money. Oh, man. Well, the thing is, so Wardell actually picked up that Spectre at the end of the last round. So, yeah, he's actually going to drop it over to Bang at the very end. So, he does have that up. He's just taking his time, you know, keeping the suspense for us. He wants to hold that mid window. This is something TSM do all the time. You'll notice three guns stay over. So, they've got triple Spectre, one Phantom upgrade, and the Operator, too. And if they end up getting blown out a little bit early in the round, it's just going to be a save on that Operator for the time being. But if Leviathan can make something happen here on the A site, it's definitely a winnable round for TSM in the third. Early scouting for Envy. Tell them that Wardell is not, in fact, down A, which means that he could be positioned somewhere else. And, of course, we see Marv has pushed up. He's just chilling. That, yeah. Towards that C Covey, feeling a little cozy. You know, if I'm Envy, I'm thinking, where is Wardell? They know that he's going to be picking up the op. They know they, they want to try to avoid it. Oh, wow. The, the dog at mid not seeing anyone in window actually caused this quick rotation over towards the A site. So there's only two players leaning C for the time being. Bang tries to get the spam through, but actually gets dinked in the process here, unable to find really anything. And that's going to let Andy straight onto the C site. Oh, and he backs away as well. The Nano Swarms come through here for Hayes, and he's still playing close to his chest. So there's an opening pick. We're down with another. And they're stuck in this connector here. It's all downhill for Envy. Operator gets lost, but pick back up a great round in TSM.
Yeah, that's beautiful. You had, even though there, there was the sort of fake out right, and you had uh, both Wardell and Sub Rosa running over towards A, they were quick on the rotation near C. Once they had the info, there were some players in Garage, and that suck in, it slowed everything down a little bit for Envy to get onto that C site. The first picks went TSM's way, and you had Bang in that window the entire time, ready to pop out. No one was watching it once the chaos sort of ensued. Envy looked away, and that's going to be an unfortunate loss for them. They're going to have to go into the Sheriff buys now and do the best they can, but likely a quick streak here to start it off for TSM on defense. Oh, just trying to stay alive. Crashies goes in, though. He's going to make it in, and of course, Victor thinking about following up. Still fighting for that A side control, whether Wigel's going to be there or not. L over towards C. B pop. Just about ready here for Envy. Double mollies on site here, so the second they know they're in here, the mollies go down, and well, you can't plant the spike anymore. That lets the rotation come in. We'll see if Hayes wants to peek out of the smoke. He does. That's going to be a great timing for him to get one, and maybe a little bit more, but missing that second shot has now led a couple players into A link, so and you have a couple options how they want to play this, but I think option number one is just get the spike on the ground, make sure you get that money. Spike planted. Yeah, that was the priority all along, whether they lost everybody, but now they actually have a pretty good foothold in this B site. We'll see how TSM decide to flush things out, and that's a great way to start Wardell from the opposite side. There's another swing from Victor, almost gets taken down, <laughs> and Wardell's out. This could be a little bit more doable here for Envy. They'll now start the push in from A Link, and they're just stuck. Gravity Well, the Sheriffs are coming online. Two players remaining here as the Seekers comes out and bang, Last just trying to standing. avoid that flash. He's out of commission, down a haze, and what a great round from Envy to stick it on the B site. Wow, they just went flying into B, and just like you said, they had a great foothold in the site with a couple players near back. They had a great watch of their flank, too, with the turret outside those garage doors, and it came down to a few critical errors, I felt like, from TSM. You know, Hayes not finding that second kill after got the first player popping through the smoke. Then, I mean, Wardell with a whole lot of confidence. This is what I'm talking about right here, not quite finding that second, and then Wardell came out after missing his second off shot with a classic, ended up getting... A Sheriff to the face and a triple kill for Victor is able to get Envy straight back into the map. And now that pop lost by Wardell picked up here by Ye. Sabrosa already feeling it as he gets taken down to 5 HP. And of course, this guy can't heal himself back up. But Hayes, he's going to be a factor. He's playing close to his chest here in Garage. So much utility set up here by TSM, but Envy want to go flying on in here. Ye is doing everything. He's offing, he's engaging with a frenzy. What can't this man do? Well, looks like he can't plant the spike. He is the one on the site, but of course, Marv is the one's coming down, but they'll pop out from the window. Two quick picks here in succession for TSM 3v4. There are a couple of injured members here for TSM. Ye, he's got a great sight line into the alleyway there. I like to them play very comfortable. Cosmic Divide to kind of follow suit here from the defense. So that's going to give them a little bit more space to jump peak. They know Ye is in a little bit of a tougher spot. The flash to push him away. And he's going to have to retreat as the Seekers come in. But he's backing right up to the Cosmic Divide. Still though, Adele already on the site. Ye's running around with the Frenzy. And it's down to the 1v1. The Knives! He runs out of ammo! Levi with the classic! What a round from DSM! Oh my word, Ye runs out of the knives, Levi runs out of his bullets. They're both staring at each other, they don't want to do, but it's a classic that gets it done at the end of the day. The two new additions to these rosters in the 1v1 at the end, but it's Levi that comes up big for TSM. I mean, what a hold right there. Again, it's Bang popping out of that garage window, getting a couple of kills as Envy's trying to get onto the site. And then in the chaos that ensued off of that wall that Bang was able to put down too, it just made it a, a complete disaster on the side. I mean, look, there's a wall, there's three smokes going everywhere. It makes it so hard for Envy to trade out their players. So it turns it into these isolated fights that Envy, at the end of it all, were not able to come out on top of. This is an important round coming up here, Ender, as both ops are officially no online. Run. I haven't really had the ability to fully utilize them, as I'm imagining they would oh, want. And Ace pushes up a little bit aggressively to kind of, you know, counter punch off of that Hunter's Fury. Oh, Wardell not going to let them into the C site, but still... Envy not letting those window shenanigans happen once again. 
team members remain here for TSM. You should run. Yeah, it's important that they are ready for that one and willing to shut it down. Now the lockdown from on site. TSM can be so hard to get back onto this one with an operator and the man oh. disadvantage. They need that initial pick to make it work. They're trying to find it before the lockdown goes down. They actually destroyed it with the shock darts. Very nicely done at the last possible second, but still coming away worse for wear in these fights. Bang on 3 HP has to run. They pick up the op, take it away, and they run away. They got the, their pick, and of course, it was a difficult fight to hit after they lost way too many members. Particularly want to highlight finesse on that round, finding the pick mid, finding the pick in the garage as well. Just so much came his way on, I wouldn't even call that the lurk. Like, the rest of the team was pushing up long. He just found so many great picks to not really allow TSM to really do what had been done the round prior. Getting access to that window, not having it this time, they can't really play through that C site. Yeah, you know, it's that awareness, right, that uh, TSM had been shutting them down with that late drop in uh, a couple of rounds in a row. So that's something if they're ever attacking C again, like they almost have to commit someone into that garage to, to watch it the entire way through or make sure they can get out to C safely and then they can give up that control for a little bit. Uh, it does seem like they want to change some things up now. TSM on the eco, they're leaning heavy Here. over towards that TC site for the moment. Could look for a little quick push up mid as well. That's what Wardell's going to go for with the Blade Storm. A nice little attempt, but as soon as no one's near grass, you kind of have to back it on up or else risk getting peeked out by window. So the early look from Wardell doesn't pan out, and now TSM back up to a more defensive stance. You know, this isn't a horrible round here for TSM. Envy are starting to pick up some steam, so they can definitely get some damage done. They've got the op, they've got a phantom, they've got knives. So it's not completely out of the world work. And of course, some utility for the very true. All that's available, but Zay hit's going to come in quite fast. Wardell's already here. Levi's playing around short side, and as they pop in, not really any information gained, but they're just waiting. They're late. They haven't cleared waiting. short, Levi's though. They're in a great position. Wardell's waiting. Good shot there into Levi. He's down in a counter four as it's just a three members here for TSM. But the lockdown's pushed everyone back from Envy. Here. They haven't quite hit the site yet. And one player gets detained. It's yay, but Wardell's a little bit afraid. Knows that somebody's at least covering. And they walk up slow. Arv gets taken down. And that is like, that has to be brutal. As Wardell gets elevation up on the boxes. Seconds left. Like is down still. Potential here. Another Ooh. one for Wardell. Can he find anything else? No. Yeah, he's got it. Of course he does. And now it's just the 1v2. Yeah, Bang was waiting all the time in case there was going to be a rotation on back here. He does. He is one of the players of the You're Phantom, though. But is doable on light armor here. Has to get through the turret first. And another player. It's not going to be enough. Yay with the triple. Takes the round for Envy and... I mean, it was not an easy round by any means. Wardell stuck in a 1v3 situation on the site, was able to come away with a couple of kills there. Very nice for TSM, but Envy are slowly making their way back here. Three to four is the score. And honestly, Left. if not for Wardell, like this round is just like instantly going to be blown wide open. It turned it into a two for two. And then Wardell got a little bit hungry for that extra one and wishes maybe he had an off. But God, that was just sick. That was what we came here to see, right? It's the Wardell show. He's got those knives popped. And see, and he's looking over to oh, the side. Gets a little bit overwhelmed, but still finds the pick. And that is beautiful. You lose the Sova, you lose your recon. So they now have to go in awkward. Dark. Yeah. And they sort of, the three people look at him like, wait a second, is that a bad guy up there? Or is that just <laughs> hallucination? I don't know. A couple players in garage. They have to deal with that dog. Oh, I love Sorosa. Look at him getting up close here. But those cabbages gonna ruin his plans. A really nice attempt there. Oh, and now no. Victor's onto the B site. I mean, nice for Sabrosa, not nice for Wardell. The cabbages ended Five up getting planted. to him. Doesn't like his greens. Now, of course, with the spike down 4v4. But Sabrosa's popping in. That's what we like to see. And the op is not going to connect onto Sabrosa as he's in the back of site. Finesse over the angle. Now, and he will just take apart every single member that pops in. Levi coming in off the flank. But it's the windowsill. He will sit. He will fall. Four to four. Envy bounce back in this first half. Ties up. Yeah, really good mid-round decision making there from Envy. As soon as they had the, the cabbages sort of telling them that there were a couple players over towards that C site. And I think there was one on C, two in garage. Uh, They're like, okay, let's back out of that garage. We don't have to commit into the meat grinder. That could very easily turn into. And they quickly make that into a B play. Started off a little bit awkward with Wardell right there. But uh, at the same time, it was really interesting watching Sabrosa take those really aggressive push throughs. You know, he's just walking through a Molotov at the last second right there after doing some aggressive stuff over in garage. 
Mirage as well. And those type of moves that can break open a round. Speaking of aggressive, look at Ye popping through a smoke. Yeah, I mean, Levi was just going for the consolation prize. Eco round here for, for TSM. He wanted just that extra something. One round closer to the Hunter's Fury. The sooner he gets it, the sooner TSM can try to make a play off of it, right? But he just got humbled real quick. Ye with the jump peek out. Who does that? <laughs> Yay, apparently. We're going to have to remember that for the rest of this series if he keeps it going. Two players from TSM quickly rotated over here. And we were able to do some damage with Sheriffs earlier in the game. And uh, see if that's able to pay off for TSM. Oh. It's not. Envy just mowing him down. I actually think the Radiant box did not look like it was getting penned there. So uh, I'll have to double check that one. I saw some bullets uh, sparking off that box on the C site. But regardless, an easy secure here for Envy. Sabrosa, Sabrosa, Sabrosa. What do you got here? Arf's playing close. Close with a Vandal. Could get tapped quick, or Sabrosa could have the better. Those are the two options. Standing. And we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> take the Vandal. Okay, we know what that one ended up being. All right. <laughs> I, I, mean, I guess listen. one of his teammates could have also shot him. You know, that yeah, could have happened. Yeah. They could have both missed. And uh, it's a flawless at the end of the day for Envy. This was a, a very interesting roller coaster. TSM started off on such a good foot. And then now Envy really showed us what this addition can be made of. This kind of new and improved life. I wouldn't say new and improved, but this life that's been injected into this team uh, has has proven to be, you know, a fast and easy addition, like they said. Like you highlighted in that interview, that it's, it was fast and easy. And it is. Gabe's feeling like right at home. He's going in, he's popping heads, and feels like he's been on this team forever yeah i mean he wants to peek aggressively with that operator so the team just has to be ready to set him up for success a quick little flash in to peek on top of c and of course get that orb as well now they back it up and uh, have gotten marved up into this cubby that he's chilled out in before for a, a late round rotation and you've been pretty convincing when they've decided to attack sites and i think maybe some preparation here just realizing that tsm are very slow to rotate on this map you know if you're attacking the a site you know bang and hazed are going to be standing still over on c guarding b making sure these late rotations don't come through so when envy decide to hit a site they're usually quite decisive about going for it they do have the hunter's fury that's what they went for the orb for Hayes is going to get out to safety there's going to be the hunter's fury to try to not allow the connector play there but not really going to come up with a whole lot as TSM are alive and well, except Bang. Bang will have to set this one out. Yay with a quick shot. Another one up to Sabrosa. This is going horribly for are. TSM. Still, two players remain. Levi and Wardell, the A-side anchors, coming a little bit late to the party. Oh. Finesse. Finesse. Smelt something was up, and it was just Levi. All right, so Wardell's going to hold on to the operator. Good choice by him. But honestly, like, I love that attack from Envy because, I mean, we, we go back. Their, their C hits have run into basically the, the thing that determines whether or not it's a win or a loss is the garage control. You know, a player getting in window, popping down through garage. That time, though, oh, man, Envy just hunt him down. That's brutal. Uh, that time, though, what Envy decided to do is actually not send anyone through garage initially. So it's four down C long. They actually use the Hunter's Fury to clear garage window. And that allows Finesse to sort of sneak his way into that garage, pop up, and then shoot TSM in the back as they try to run away and evacuate that site. So a, a very nice take, I feel like, from Envy playing off that Hunter's Fury and coming in with a really strong plan. Yeah, and they had a good insurance policy here on EA. Just a great angle One enemy off flat to make sure that the players that, you know, close clear that are funneling in from Link, they yeah. will be dealt with. And I mean, he got two picks. That tack timeout couldn't come at a better time here for TSM. Because maybe they want to try to squeeze out a round or two for this half. They don't, really they don't have, have a lot, lot of money. With. I mean, yeah. like, it, it looks like they want to go for a bit of a light. I mean, Leviathan did go for light armor. So we'll see what they do coming out of the, the, the timeout. Because, of course, they could go for, like, light armor and a... And a and a rifle, but then they're not really working with much utility on someone like that Killjoy. Uh, regardless, though, I mean, even I have to point out the the timing there, the the practice of hunting down that op player in A, you know, coming around both corners at the same time was very nicely done there from Envy. So remains to be seen what the decision is here for TSM. Of course, not having access to the Bladestorm makes 
going for these life by rounds a little bit more challenging. So we'll just be making sure they can invest in that final round deagles and some light armor to uh, have a shot in this one. But they're going to have that full buy come round 12. Ooh, Levi is definitely going to be a little bit more careful with that one. We come bolt to try to spot out who could be on the opposite side. Not going to reveal any information. And TSM a little bit more grouped up here around the seaside. I wonder if that's going to yeah. be consistent with the last round. The I mean, I will say they have changed up the Killjoy right now. Killjoy with the turret in A link, and then they're playing two on A site. They could go for more passive behold. You know, right now it just looks like Sabrosa wants to clear out mid with the dog. Doesn't actually get information, I don't think, coming around that door, but Finesse is here for the kill. Envy have a couple to start this one off. He's the A site. Could be a little bit easier to take. Sabrosa trying to run across, manages to make it through behave. Uh, oh, clear your God. corners! Oh, he still gets it. Very well done. 2v2, things are a little bit more doable. Wardell peeking here with the Marshal as Crashy's on the retreat. Finesto on the lurk, 17 HP. Have to be a little bit more careful and cautious as the turret is no longer active. Lineups here available for Crashy's. He's just biding his time here for the Finesse. They start the Finesse. defuse. Gonna have the intel because he's gonna be able to hear things out, but they're gonna clear instead. There's the shock dart. There's the defuse that starts to come through. Finesto on the flank, and now Wardell has to be very, very careful. Knows that the shock darts aren't gonna be coming through. He starts to defuse up to halfway. Can Finesto do this again? He's trying to be straight through here. Uh, oh, the hit fire shot, not quite enough. The classic around the better finds one, just needs one more. He's gonna try to stick to defuse. He's up to half. He can get this done, but Crashies is hunting him down. What a pest around here for Envy. Oh my god, Envy no running round. circles around TSM right there. Wardell going for the no scope up shot, just barely off, and only one bullet left in the classic. Wasn't enough to come away with that clutch round. It, that round went from nothing to something so quickly with Haze playing in the corner of the A site. Two players of Envy made it onto the site without ever clearing that corner. So he's able to line up a couple of them and get two Thank kills, set his team up to pick up some guns off the ground. Just almost a lost round for Envy that should never have been lost. And now TSM will still have the money to invest in this one here. Ye's on an operator, Wardell on light armor and an op two. And he's taken a very aggressive stance over down C long, but Envy have no intention of going to the C site. They're A and they're A quick. Yeah, and you can see Hayes being prepared here, that adaptation. Maybe, you know, we, we might argue a little bit late in the round, but it doesn't quite matter as this is the last round of regulation here and lots of ultimates available for TSM. Lockdown is the first one of those as we imagine Crashies might be available with something. Hunter's Fury to answer for one of the lockdowns. That doesn't mean that the Defender one is going to be just as lucky. It will tag through. Oh no! One player does end up getting detained and you can see Envy trying to rush over to support. They're pushing in with the Cosmic Divide. Players on the opposite side here. They're waiting for the swing. Breach! They're in! And still Finesto around the bend. He's gonna find one down to just 1v1. And they're playing around the Cosmic Divide! Wardell with the nail in the coffin. I'm going to be honest, I don't think anyone knew what was happening in that round. Both teams felt like they had nine players playing on either side of that wall, just gradually peeking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But it's Wardell at the end of it all to get that one. A beautiful play from him. 7-5 on the half to Envy. We're going to have to toss it to a quick break before we come back for the rest of Haven.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we're about to embark on a very, very contentious, contentious journey. Half two of Haven. Envy managed to find the jump over TSM, 7-5, as we now have TSM on the attack. Now, Wardell kind of figured out by Envy for the first half, but the attack's going to be a little bit of a different ball game. You know, <laughs> it certainly more, is. <laughs> yeah, Wardell's going to have more, uh, more comfort, I think his openings on this second half. What on earth? I, what an interesting play from TSM. Finesse gets two though, and that's gonna stop things for just a moment. Yay in the back of the site as well with the Sheriff. Envy just say no to whatever that was from TSM. I mean, what an interesting setup. So you have three players going down long C while Wardell just dashes into B to try and pull players off that site and then quickly rotate out as well. A, a very strange pistol and uh I, I i kind of dig it in theory but uh the aim was just better there for envy and they completely stopped tsm in their tracks yeah that was a little bit of, it happened a lot faster than, than i anticipated i expected maybe a little bit of slow work from tsm but that was that was a blitz and it's gone and now see how tsm kind of react on their of course weaker buy but what a what a halt there from envy and ea just having a great game so far Victor, come along. Here's the stampede coming through. Gets flashed out. That's a weapon upgrade for TSM. They'll pick up that one and pass it along to Levi as they rush onto this A site. It's bouncing around in hands now as Sabrosa looks like it was passed on over to him. But you'll notice, again, Envy playing it similarly on defense to how TSM did. And you'll see Finesse still hanging out towards that C site. That's one of the fun things running mirror comps here is we're going to see the really tangible differences in how these teams stylistically want to play out these rounds. But Envy already have three players here. And that's one more player than TSM would have liked to rotate over on defense. So if if TSM decide to go in on this one, it is going to be real tough because you'll see Crashy's ready to trade this close one so quickly and even destroying the scout before I think it even sees Marv in the corner. Marv was in such a dirty position. And TSM, they'll rush in, find one at least for a couple, actually. That's a lot of members down for Envy. You know, if you're TSM, you're thinking, okay, not bad. We managed to take some weapons out. And, you know, with TSM being so focused on their economy round after round, that has to feel pretty good they can at least make the anti-eco a little bit more worthwhile. I think they would have also loved to get that spike down, but you're right. Envy was in such a good position. Good read on the, the, how the rest of the round was going to unfold. And we'll keep, we'll keep tracking it and seeing if Envy want to mix it up a lot, because I think that was one thing we were sort of talking about during the break, is like Envy were really good at uh, reacting to what TSM was going to do in, in the middle of those rounds, being ready to respond to just about anything. Yay with the operator. Tries to wow. take the quick peek there, but Good Molotov will send him backwards and the rest of TSM can decide what to do because now it feels like you kind of have to mix things up as Envy. You still actually have Ye playing over towards that garage with the Operator. No dash though means he's easily traded, but that doesn't seem to be where TSM want to attack. They've got two players waiting inside this smoke just outside the B site. Ready to uh, take some space here, but not put down the spike quickly. Leviathan still has that one. He is not in the area just yet point out Finesse's position very deep down long, likely using Ye to help him out early. Down long, walk it down, but now they'll be ready to come through Ooh. the run and gun for Marv. Hayes is down and action on the opposite side as Finesse gets traded, but Ye is laying in wait with the op and they have to be a little bit careful. Flash is ready, there's the swing. Ye has to back away. The spray will find its mark. And this is a great opening here for TSM. Crashies does cross alongside the way, but did he see him? I don't yeah, Wardell well, spotted that one. They know this player is going to be long. He just caught the leg at the very last second, so left. Envy should be known that they're going to be coming down this nice. long area. These positions great for TSM. They're going to be able to stop this one dead in its tracks. Nicely done from TSM to bounce back there, and it all goes back, I feel like, a, a lot to that Jet losing her dash. Yay, having to get out of that Molotov that Hayes threw his way right at the start. So going for that, you know, 1v1 up against Sabrosa there, it wasn't going to work out. He wasn't able to get out, just got spammed out through the smoke. Was likely still going to be a tough round for Envy, but and they weren't even able to take down one in the process there. TSM take their six, then they're going to need to have a strong bounce back here to Envy. Not a whole lot to invest in this one. Going into the fourth here, it did seem like they upgraded some guns. Of course, Ye went on to the operator, so now it's just going to be a, a marshal for him and see if he can find ahead for himself. 
Yeah, he was narrator. He could. Yeah, it was you know <laughs> operator marshal. We'll, we'll give it to Ortel. You'll you'll take this one. But it's a little slow approach here into C. They'll back away. Leave Sabroza to his own devices. But you know with Envy so far pushed up down this A side, they they've they've gotten such good reads on maybe not reads but having their players so far pushed up gives them so much information. Last round it was finesse down C long. This round they've got a crossfire set up in A lobby. I'm expecting to see a lot of this from Envy. This gives them so much information, at least to say, okay, we've got so much of this map control. We don't need Leviathan to worry about certain has a drone. Things. Are they going to... They're not even going to use it. This could be really tough. Or Dell. Oh, no, they're not ready for it. Just a sheriff here, so it's really hard to get more than just that one. If it was any sort of SMG or rifle, it would have been a little bit better for Envy. But still one. Envy going to be happy with that. Oh. Marved. That was uh, a valiant effort. Uh, the sweatiness from Wardell to get up there and just get all the way back to that spawn area. You can appreciate Marv for trying, but this will be, of course, their gun round that comes in. They'll be able to finally fight metal with metal. For Envy, I'm interested to see what the adaptations look like. That's kind of the big key. Okay, heavier stack towards A, still more control around that side, and, and likely rotating players later with control in the B area. Ender, I think they're playing very passive around the B site and with their extremity control kind of just, if they want B, they could have it and they'll play off of that and, and take the flight. mid round. For sure. I think it's a pretty popular strategy for a lot of teams on this B or on, on Haven in general is play a little lighter towards B. Maybe use some Killjoy utility to stop the spike from going down immediately, then get the rotations over. Uh, important to say uh, the ult economy in this one, I think Crashies went towards that A long to make sure he got that orb and now has his Hunter's Fury to counteract that of Leviathan. But Sabrosa has those cabbages to play with too. A whole lot to work with on the TSM side and just like two points off here, just a couple points off for Envy means that it's going to be a a little bit harder to fight back immediately if they're not able to find some picks on those critical members first. A little bit more respect out of Envy this round, less control around those extremities in terms of what we saw in the rounds prior. And Ye's actually alone here. So no idea what's going on down the short side. He's going to eventually back away. As Ye's managed to make it in. His ankle is being watched, though, by two players. That's tough. The attack goes on C, and now the timing is perfect for him to lurk up on A. Hayes catches Ye on that A site. Now the spike, he doesn't want to be here anymore. Sabrosa is now going to be lurking through C. They decide to go into C anyways. Quick pick here for Crash. He's still around the bend as Sabrosa will be taken care of. Still very doable for both sides. 2v3 with a very injured victor. Seekers come out. 12 right, seconds. Those. They're not going to do it. Last player standing. Oh, the swing there from Levi. Marv's got the angle from Platt. Still one more player funneling down the long side. That was tough. That was very, very tough. You, you, you like the efforts there from TSM, but just not enough. No, I, I think TSM uh, got a little bit surprised by the clock there, in all honesty. You know, Hayes had that beautiful lurk up. A was able to pick off Ye as he's trying to vacate the site. And then if you're watching your minimap, you saw Wardell actually running down C long towards his own spawn. But that was with like 25 seconds left on the clock. That's why I'm like, okay, they're rotating back towards A to go pick up where that lurker has taken so much space. But then they realize the clock is so against them that Wardell just decides to dash into the site, hoping that the rotation hasn't fully way. come over from Envy. And it wasn't enough. He got killed before putting the spike down, and then the rest of the team isn't close enough to help him out whatsoever. Now TSM. Oh. I mean, Ye gets another quick kill to start off the round. Beautiful from him, but is traded out by Wardell. And that's going to be, of course, the kill when expected, but that's that's worth it. That dash gone. You'll take Ye for Hayes any day of the week. Lockdown, though. It's been a useful tool as oh, TSM comes running through, and we're seeing a little bit of a mirror from what we saw in the first half. The peak there. From finesse. Crashy's got the spike. Oh, Crashy's no. lurked all the way up long, so they hadn't been pushing into actual attacker spawn. This round, Crashy says, you know what? I'm going to do it and catches that spike rotating over towards C late. It's just beautiful. So even if Wardell shoots this, he's now given up his position. Finesse is playing over on that C site. And now you even have Victor trying to get this crunch on Wardell. Bang is spotted out, tagged up by the guard. Really beautifully done there by Envy. The lurk through from Crash, he's just instantly destroyed the round for TSM. That's tough. That is very, very tough. You see TSM like the train that could, just trying to make things work, trying to put things together. And initially it kind of looks okay. 
But now, of course, the tack timeout coming through. I don't blame TSM for using another. Envy really, really looking sound. Fundamentally sound with the way that they're using each player individually. Particularly Crash used that round. You highlighted that, that lurk all the way around. It gave the rest of the players kind of the, the freedom play how they, they really wanted to in response to where Wardell was making noise, where Wardell was positioned. He was on the loose. He had Bladestorm. He was definitely looking for multi-kills like that last round that we saw the first half. Similar situation where Wardell can just have that free reign, but MV playing very, very smart around Wardell and around yeah. his playstyle TSM are, are trying to execute on. I mean, I like it a lot. I think what, what Envy is doing is they're introducing a lot more variance to their defense. You know, like which side they're going to be pushing up, you know, playing two towards A lobby, really deep up towards A. Then other rounds, they're playing a little bit more passively, but still playing off of one another. This round, they're stacking three over towards the A site. And I think one of the weaknesses TSM had slightly on defense was they were pretty set in their ways of how they wanted to play it, you know, for, for a lot of that half. Had one big change about halfway through, you know, around that sixth or seventh round, but were a little bit more predictable. And I think Envy preyed on that just a little bit, and now TSM are struggling to figure out where is the consistency from Envy, and the consistency has been that weak B site, so Ordell dashes in, is going to get tickled <laughs> by this turret, actually does a serious amount of damage, down to just a little over 100 HP, but still gets that spike down on the light buy. Caterpillar to get his way out. Cosmic divide from the defense, I like this, that means they're going to go fast and they're not really going to let TSM feel super comfortable about the, the hold it's here. It's another Ace flank. coming in from behind, it's flashed out here there from Levi, and just pinching him off from behind. I love this play from Envy, and he tail was out to safety just down to Wardell, and he's wondering how all his friends fell apart, doesn't matter. <laughs> the culprit has been caught, but Crashies will finish the job. 12 to 7 match point for Envy on this first map. Match oh point. man, it's it's a different person pushing through A this time as well. TSM getting lost in the sauce just a little bit there again. It was a bit of a light buy for them, just a couple of rifles and some sheriffs to make it happen. And now they're gonna have to win five in a row to push it to OT on a buy from themselves here. But I mean, look at this room, yay. Leviathan's blinded, so he doesn't even know, even know where he's getting shot from. You know, the rest of TSM very slow to react without having that precise information. and. Yeah. He's good for three before his hands turn off, and Wardell's able to shut him down, but Envy in a beautiful position now, already just crushing on Haven. And this could be the last round here as well, as TSM have a lot of rounds to go through, five rounds to make it through, and already it's off to a great start here for Envy. Looking down, you could see TSM just trying to find something on the way out. Envy's not going to give him anything. They don't need to. Oh, it's beautiful. It's the beauty. I don't think Victor's played that angle yet. You know, he's played similar angles around short, but hasn't gone for that late peek in that hole just yet. Finesse even wins his 1v1, the killjoy difference, and now TSM pretty much have to commit onto this A site where Dell gets the first, and that's good, but again, you have to worry about your back this whole time for TSM. Cosmic Divide to break through into the site. Of course, we do see Crashies having a little bit of lineup here with the shock darts, and it goes. Bang gets taken dangerously low, but Finesse on the lurk. Marv wrapping around. Envy are like hungry, bloodthirsty hyenas, and they smell their prey. DSM just trying to hold on here as well. The first swing comes through here for Finesse to jump down. Or thinking about it, Finesse still just... Stealing the show, it's down to Wardell, and they're gonna flood him out the 4K for Finesse. That is map number one for Envy. What a performance Defenders from them on Haven.